hello everyone and welcome to another video and yeah it was a pretty tough week it was a pretty tough race in this one but you know one of maybe the best races that i ever had in gt7 i mean i know it's you know it's actually the early days of gt7 but this was one of probably the best races that i've ever done and you know the way this you know my journey the way my journey is going I think it's gonna be a pretty good, uh, pretty good game, a pretty good sim. So I will just like to share this video with you. And as you can see, I started this one in P7, just in front of the Spaniard in front of me. And this race wasn't really looking promising. P7 is kind of not the best place where you want to start. So you always want to start in the top three, I would say, maybe top five, where you can probably do something about it. But in general, this was a fuel saving race, and I knew that my car was pretty good in the straight line, so I could have probably, you know, overtake on the straights. But as soon as you go for a move on the straight, it becomes very, very easy uh, to burn more fuel than you intended. And of course, if you burn fuel in the next couple of laps, you have to save that much fuel. So. I was pretty fortunate enough that I had a pretty good car, as I said, in the straight line, but also the people started making mistakes. So you can see I'm trying to save a little bit of fuel, but the Spaniard here, yeah, this is the chicane and it's pretty easy to make a mistake. And also with this Volkswagen GTI, yeah, it was game over for him and I'm very sorry because he really had the pace to go in this one. But luckily I was promoted up to P6 and this race was kind of looking okay but I still had to make some ground up so you can see P6 with 1.8 seconds to the lead and 1.3 to P5 so I always try to stay in the slipstream and always try to stay in that in that range where you can actually do something but once again GT7 penalties or you know as usual penalties occurred and you know, mind in front of uh, Ani got a one second penalty, which wasn't the best for him. And also he ran in front of him. So ev everyone was kind of stacked up together and all of these guys got penalties. I mean, I, I just didn't know what to say because he's got one, uh, one second penalty. Uh, the, I mean, the British one, Annie. He's got a two-second penalty and also Kevin in front the Frenchman. He's got a two-second penalty now So just with a little touch I need I think polyphony needs to fix this because it's not the way uh, Things should work, but all of these guys in front of me got penalties so from one point uh, sorry from one second penalty to about two second penalties and you know here it really matters and it matters quite a lot you, you know even a slightest penalty I mean the penalty zones are honestly they are very very terrible so even if you make up like a half a second penalty in the end is gonna probably gonna be losing about the second second and a half but with a two second penalty you're probably gonna be losing like five seconds easily so I mean this was pretty good for me but I mean this needs to be sorry this needs to be changed and I think in the future Everyone will be hoping that, you know, we won't get penalties like that. I mean, it was a very, very slight contact and I don't think penalties like that should even happen in this game. But, of course, they are serving their penalties and I'm now promoted into P3. So, going from P7 into P3 in the matter of three and a half laps, I think that's pretty good. So, now it was that period that I actually had the fuel save and I was a little bit behind with that fuel saving. I mean... I had to save around six to seven per seven, uh, six to seven percent of fuel per lap, so it was always about uh, reaching and maximizing. I would say the fuel efficiency, but here it was very very difficult because not every car is the same. So every time you go on the track, you can see, like for example, I was uh, I was very good in the straight line, and also this GTR is very good in the straight line as well. So it doesn't really have the same acceleration like the WRX in the front, but it also has a pretty good overall pace, especially on the track where you got a lot of you know a lot of fast sections and a lot of fast sectors. 
So now it was time to just try to keep up and of course as you can see I tried short shifting as much as I could so I can potentially save a bit more fuel and as soon as I kind of cl get close to them I put the fuel map up to 3-4 sometimes it was even 6 like at this uh, at this point because I think they were all fuel saving the best race pace wasn't quite there so I would say race pace was a couple of seconds off from where it should be and i think we were losing a couple of tens per each lap i mean the race pace could have been a little bit better but this was it was pretty much all about strategic uh strategic approach about this one because even if you make a move someone will get behind and it's not going to be easy for you to just pull away like you know, like it's nothing. You still have to work with a lot of drivers and you still have to work your way around the track and also avoid all of those penalties, not get into some difficult situations and all of that stuff. So it it really gets difficult just to get, uh, you know, get the clean lap. Something that didn't really happen here. Doctor punt me and all of a sudden a free second penalty. And I was like, how? And why did he get a free second penalty? Because that wasn't a free second penalty dive bump. It wasn't even close, but it looks like this game, I mean, which should be updated in the future, wasn't quite working, but, you know, he was clearly very, very unsatisfied with, you know, with the penalty that he got, because, as I said before, a free second penalty here is not a free second penalty. It's more like a five to maybe six second penalty. So he will probably drop down to P10, maybe even P12 in the end, because just... You know, just with that one little tap and you drop down a couple of places and for you, it's game over. I mean, and you know, all of your hopes, you're kind of down uh, a couple of places. I mean, you're going from P3 to like P10 to P11. I mean, it's not really worth going and trying something else because I, I, I can see that he was really frustrated with that free second penalty and really nothing much to do. Uh, yeah, you just got to serve your penalty and you know, get away with it, I get, I, I know it's frustrating, it was frustrating, but, I mean, I got a couple of those penalties in the previous slots, but it was, you know, it, it was one of those things where you just have to serve your penalty and uh, in the end hope for the best, and that's all you can do, but now I'm just trying to save a little bit of fuel, but you can see the Spaniard and the Frenchman, they pulled away a little bit, so they're now 1.8 seconds in front of me, and I couldn't really see that as a kind of a good situation right here, but I just decided to give it all. I mean, just try to push as much as I could and, you know, potentially maybe get something out of this because I'm not saving fuel at this point. I'm just trying to catch up. And later on, I know, and at this point I knew that I will have to save a little bit more fuel than they will. So I will not be in kind of a good position, but it was all or nothing at this point. So I kind of knew that if I get in that one second range, I could potentially pick up the slipstream and, you know, get uh, get that straight line speed improvement. And also uh, my fuel efficiency will be much, much better if I just stay behind someone and put it to fuel map three or four and then just short shift. So I was short shifting all the way. I was always short shifting, but I wasn't really using maps. And as you can see, I got to that one second range and I started kind of picking up a little bit of time. This was even my best sector, but there was nothing, there, there wasn't really a change until lap seven where I actually caught up to them. And this is where it all started. So six tenths from the lead, <laughs> just imagine that, going from P7 to P3. And I was like, I don't even know what to say at this point. I was like, okay, I, I could potentially get something out of this. It was lap seven out of 16 and I thought, okay, maybe, maybe I can actually do something here. The fuel was looking good. I was using fuel maps. I was using fuel map four at the, at the end of this one. Uh, I mean, I was short shifting all the way. I was uh, in the slipstream. So everything was looking good, but you know, when everything is looking good, you always think about something bad is going to happen. But I mean, it just didn't. I mean, at least not, at least not for me. So here I'm moving it up to fuel map two, fuel map three, kind of trying to match up the, you know, the space and the time they're doing. And, you know, it's always difficult. Even in the chicane, I was always very careful. I, 
I couldn't really afford to get that half a second penalty. It just wasn't... It, it really wasn't an option. So I know my race pace wasn't the best. I know I could have probably pushed a little bit more, but it was just the way it was. I was trying to make the most out of this race and I was trying to make the most out of this fuel saving and, you know, make my car as efficient as I possibly could. So fuel map six here, just a little bit of lift and then brake. I mean... And here, I mean, Consta went, uh, I mean, he just jumped me a little bit and it, it was probably because I was using fuel maps on the way out of the certain corner, but you, of course, you have to use it on the way out. You always want to use the, like the maximum efficiency and like the maximum power. So lean mixture is mostly because you want to save as much fuel as possible, but it's always when you're behind someone and you're trying to make your car as efficient as possible. And of course, save as much fuel as you possibly can. So uh, on the way out of the certain corners, you always want to use one. But when you got behind someone, you always want to use six. But I was, uh, you know, I was kind of focused on not staying behind that much and also hitting my apexes. So I wasn't really paying attention in what the fuel map I was so I mean in the end that was a pretty clean uh, clean move so you know everything was everything was really looking good at this point so you know when I when I was looking at this race I was just watching the replay I was looking okay maybe I should have saved a little bit more fuel there maybe I shouldn't have gone for a move here and there but everything was looking pretty good fuel map six at this point I you know I was I was kind of moving it up with the pace from the leader so I was just trying to keep up but then this happened a uh, completely unbelievable situation I think it was lag yeah there it was I don't know how it happened but I know a lot of these guys that were very very competitive just got downgraded they just lost maybe five to I mean five to six places just because of that lag and I think in the future I mean, servers need to get better, and I kind of feel sorry when that happens, because it's, this this is really not your fault, it's like your connection, or probably the servers or something, but yeah, it's just the way it is, I guess, you, so you gotta be focused on whatever you're doing, and you just have to make, you know, just have to make the most out of the situation, but here, uh, once again, uh, lap number 12 and this was the point where i tried to save as much fuel as i possibly could but i also had a lot of fuel on board so i just went for it i just went for the move and i tried to make it stick so he was you know it was a straight line i had a lot of the straight line speed he wasn't really going defensive and fuel max fuel map six on the way out up to fuel map one and you know it was always that little moment when i was in fuel map six i always knew that the guy from the back is going to give me a little bit of a push so i think i abused that a little bit but you know in the end it was all good he was giving me a push from the back and i knew at this point wheeling didn't really had the straight line speed so I just decided, okay, let's go outside once again. Let's go on the outside and make it stick. And, you know, that's exactly what I did there. So, promoted to P1. So, at this point, I was actually leading the race. It was it was incredible. I mean, after 13 laps to lead the top split, if, even if I finished, like, in P2, P3, even up to P5, I wouldn't be disappointed or anything. I was just, you know, I was just so lucky that I got into this position, but sometimes it's more than enough just to stay clean avoid the trouble and keep it clean so race clean you don't really have to kind of get the speed or anything it's just all about keeping it clean avoiding all of the trouble and you know all avoiding all of those situations where you could potentially make a mistake and make it all work because this uh, game is pretty i would say a pretty damn hard game I mean, it's it's unbelievable how, you know, this transition from GT Sport uh, and, you know, ended up in GT7 when all of these top split players are getting penalties, they are losing control. It's, you know, one of those things where it's, you know, you, you don't even know what to say, but as long as you keep it clean, you're going to be good. So I'm just trying to make most out of the situation and just hope, go have a look at my fuel. I mean, 24% of fuel, and I'm just trying to make the most out of it. So, fuel saving a little bit, short shifting, not as much as I was doing before, and I just calculated at this point. So, uh, I, 
you know, just as soon as I got to this race, I calculated, okay, I need to use like 6 to maybe 7% of fuel per lap. But here I was like at 23, 22 to 23% of fuel, and I had 3 laps to go. So I'm, I'm actually more than okay. So maybe I should fuel save a little bit, like short shifting, using fuel maps at, you know, at some certain points. But it was all good at this point. So I was leading this race. And, you know, just when I was looking at the replay and I had a look at the back, I mean, it was always... You know, it was always that little gap of around five to six tenths. They couldn't really get closer. I mean, they were really pushing each other. I mean, they were really like taking the most out of the game. They were really, you know, abusing track limits, abusing this game. They were like revving up the cars and, you know, just trying to get as close as possible. But once you're in, in clean air, it's very easy to dictate the race. I wouldn't say that that is easy, but it's easier than like staying behind in like fifth or sixth place and just trying to, you know, not to get involved into some kind of carnage or, you know, pick up a penalty. So this point, it was much easier for me just to control the race, you know, move with my own pace, move as, you know, something you're you're in the zone. I would call this you're in the zone. You're trying to make the most out of your driving style. You're trying to not make a mistake, but it's always really taking it easy and again you know once again hitting those apexes not risking too much especially in this area i was i, I mean it was so frustrating every time i went through this I, I thought about myself i could potentially pick up a penalty i mean this is a potential penalty every every time i went through this i thought yeah this could potentially be like a half a second penalty and i can lose it all so i was thinking i had to push but at the same time it's probably best for me just to stay a little bit behind then you know take it take it easier than I probably should have but in the end I thought about myself okay I probably I'm gonna be honest with you and to myself I had a pretty good car for the race I didn't have the best car so my car wasn't the best but it was kind of up to maybe three or four cars that were really good I mean, it wasn't my car wasn't really good with fuel saving, but it had the straight line speed. And when you have when you have the straight line speed, it's much easier to overtake. It's much easier to follow someone. You know, it just it just makes your life a lot easier. And I think in the next future season, I will again sign with this manufacturer because I believe I can take uh, I can take a lot of uh, you know I can take a lot of experience and just take it into some kind of race and make the most out of it so it it really depends on the race it really depends on the manufacturer but you know i think i can make the most out of a certain situation with this car i mean it's probably not the best when it comes to fuel saving but you know it's just the way it is you just use whatever you can focus on the tracks where you're good leave the other ones that you're not really good at you know just trying to you know as i said before a million times trying to get the most out of a certain situation and that's all you have to do the I mean the season is pretty long and you know whatever you do it's probably for your own good if you not make a mistake but at this point i thought okay one more lap i can do it but i also i also noticed that wheeling and the spaniard they got really really close it was unbelievably close it was you know, a tenth, tenth and a half, and I knew that they probably had the fuel save a bit more, but I had 8% of fuel, which was pretty good, and they were bomb drafting each other, Willink went for a little move, I think he tried to go from the outside, but didn't quite work out, and then the Spaniard, he tried to take the inside, but I covered it up, and he gave me a little bit of a push, but nothing, I mean, nothing major, I mean, all of... All of those things happen in a race, but he also tried to go here to the right. I covered him off, and again, he tried to go to the right. I mean, not really the move that I was kind of hoping for, but I decided to cover that off. Maybe I was using that little bit of aggressive light, but in the end, I, you know, I covered it off. It was, you know, it was really, really good for me. Just a little bit of that fuel saving in the end, short shifting, taking, you know, taking those nice lines and really not risking it. At this point, it was all about us free. It was all about getting the top free. I mean, even if I finished in third place, I would be very, very happy with the result. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't quite sure that I'm gonna make it to the line. I mean, I'm gonna make it here. But I went a little bit too wide here, so he had a bit of a better exit at this point, but I'm, you know, I'm just thinking about it. I'm just thinking he has, he has that slipstream, but maybe it is better that I just lift off a bit and let him pass. 
So that's exactly what I did. I moved it up to a few map six, waited a little bit longer because now, just before this crossing, you know, crossing the finish line, I'll have it. I'll have it now. This is my way to go. And half a second penalty. He picked up a half a second penalty, so this is clearly the win for me. If I can make it to the line, I got like 2% of fuel and I'm like, can I do it? Can I do it? I mean, this is... Uh, what is going on? I mean, even without the penalty, I think it would be very, very close. But now, just across the finish line. And there it was. Oh, I, I, I don't even know. I, I was actually speechless at this point. First top split win. And, you know, this this was long coming. I mean, this it was, you know, this was my goal from... The point where I actually start playing GT7. I mean, even GT Sport. Just <laughs> before I started playing competitive. And yeah, I really don't know what to say. But once again, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. So if you did, please, if you could smash that like button. I mean, even, you know, even maybe subscribing to the channel. But I hope my commentary was good. So once again, first stop split win. And it was, you know, it was from P7 to P1. A truly amazing race. I was a bit, little bit lucky. I have to be honest with you. I had a pretty good car for this one. But also, it took a lot of time, a lot of dedication just to make this work. And, you know, to even get those 422 points. So once again, guys, thank you very much for watching this. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.